it was 34 degrees on my way to bring Sydney to school this morning. So, but I think it's going to be a high of 70 and something for the next two days, two, three days. It's wild. Today, I thought I would do an informal like grocery haul, grocery shop with me, um, meal plan, kind of, I don't know. It's just an informal grocery shopping video for those of you who care how I plan my groceries, what I buy, what I plan for meals. I go ahead and go on their app, clip whatever coupons I can find and look, look at their weekly flyer and see what they have for deals going on. So I have already done that. I'm going to make, I think I'm going to make some stuffed peppers for dinner and a chicken tortilla soup. It's been a while since I've had either one. Um, so stuffed peppers, chicken tortilla soup, and then I might scour Pinterest while I'm in there to see what else I want to make. Um, and I definitely want to make some paninis because I got myself that panini press a couple of, uh, well, maybe like a week or two ago on Amazon Prime. So that's what we're looking for. We need, you know, the staples like milk, bread, eggs, etc. And my daughter needs snacks because we are pretty much out of our pantry snacks. Follow along with me. We're going to go to the grocery store. I'm going to kind of, hopefully it's not too loud in there, chat with you my thought process and how I budget for the two of us. I usually, I don't know, this one might be a bigger haul because we're out of a lot of the snacks. So we shall see. Just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful it is. Before we jump into things, I do want to mention this is not an extreme budget grocery haul or a budget grocery haul whatsoever. There are many, many ways that I typically save money and cut costs, but today I more so grabbed what I desired. Um, I do check out the flyer ahead of time and clip coupons um, available and check out whatever fruit is on sale or if there are specific specials in the flyer that I usually grab or, you know, might not, I definitely check out the sales ahead of time. So I usually grab whatever fruit is on sale and I try to buy things that are, um, you, the unit price is cheaper, you know, so I kind of look at costs that way. Grabbing the avocado bag because that was on sale this week instead of buying the individual ones. And like for instance, this basil, I needed some basil. This little pack was $3 versus this large plant was uh, $3.49. So just a little bit more cost effective there. Looking at the sweet potatoes, these were on sale as well, which are very nutrient dense. So I went ahead and grabbed those. I find in my experience, the biggest way to save money is to actually meal plan and only grab the ingredients that you need for those meals. Before, when I used to go into the grocery store without a meal plan, I would spend so much money and I feel like I wasted a lot as well, maybe wasted a lot of food. Um, and so I definitely make sure my pantry is stocked and our snacks are stocked, but I also do the whole meal planning thing and that has cut costs down a lot. So with tax, I spent, it was like 183. Um, I would say about once a month, I have like a between 150 and $200 shopping trip. And that's about once a month when I need to really kind of stock up, grab the extra snacks and the things that we're out of. Um, otherwise, I spend around 100 a week. Uh, just depending on, you know, what recipes I'm making and if I need all these random ingredients and herbs and things like that. Um, today I did buy 
a bottle of alcohol because I'm going to be filming some like holiday inspired cocktails and so that was like an extra $18 which I hardly ever buy alcohol um, in my weekly groceries so yeah I will take you home share with you my little grocery haul and um, it was so pleasant to shop there in the morning no one's there it is beginning of the week when I'm shopping here so it was a very pleasant shopping experience well, out of the 10 reusable bags that I own I had zero in my car so I had to get paper bags and take 45 trips in the house the drama of it all honestly I usually try to organize by section and category, but today I threw it all on the counters and the stove and I'm just going to jump right into the grocery haul. No rhyme or reason here. Um, of course I have some chicken. I usually buy either these um, Nature's Promise chicken tenders or I have been buying the thin cut chicken breasts as well, switching it up. Wow, go me. Um, uh, frozen pizza, always have one every week. I have to buy, no, I don't eat one every week, but every week I do have to buy one. Pop it in the freezer. I've been on a big margarita pizza thin crust kick. So I do like to grab the thin and crispy margarita pizza from Newman's. We needed some eggs. I did wanna grab a tub of yogurt. It's just so much cheaper to buy um, a tub of it versus those pouches for Sydney and I've been on a like a yogurt parfait kick as well so I went ahead and grabbed these Siggy's vanilla I like that because it's lower in sugar higher in protein this is not a healthy grocery haul by the way or nor a budget grocery haul because some of the things are not cost effective this is just us just a kind of what I buy when I want a grocery haul. Uh, Coffee Mate, no sugar added, hazel, I hope this is hazelnut, they changed the packaging, yes, hazelnut. Uh, coffee Creamer for fruits this week, I like to buy a mix of ready to eat and fruit that will also be good at the end of the week. So I have some plums that will be, I have like three plums that will be good by the end of the week. I do also have some tangerines in the fridge, so we are okay with fruit. I have some red grapes. Those are good to go for now. Um, thinking about like what I'm gonna pack Sydney and her school lunches. So red grapes were on sale this week, so I just grabbed some of those. Um, and raspberries were also on sale. I absolutely love raspberries, and they do go by really, really quickly though, unfortunately, so we have to eat these within the next one to two days. Um, so that will be nice to have something ready now, ready later this week. I have some vine ripened tomatoes. I am going to be making some paninis in my new panini press. And I love having like a tomato mozzarella panini. Um, so I have just a couple of those. Oven roasted chicken breast. I like to go to the deli to get this when they don't have a like a selection ready that has a small amount um, i like to go ahead and get this fresh and um, make sure that it lasts longer some of those were packed on the 22nd and today's the 24th so i like to make sure it lasts long i have um i usually buy like six slices and that way i don't waste any i use it for sandwiches and roll-ups for sydney's lunches she would prefer roll-ups over sandwiches so if you guys wonder why i rarely pack sydney sandwiches that is why she does not prefer them at least right now i think a lot of our friends are on the same kick so they're probably communicating about it um she likes sandwiches but she prefers the rolls uh sydney the last time we went grocery shopping she saw these and asked for them i thought they were pretty expensive so i did not want to purchase them but I decided to go ahead and do that today. These are stuffed um, mushrooms. Sydney is obsessed with mushrooms, and I honestly, I'm just not the biggest fan of them. I think the texture I, I can't get over or something. I've never tried stuffed mushrooms though, to be fair. So I bought these for Sydney. Gonna give those a try for her this week. They're stuffed with, you know, the cheeses and the herbs and the spinach. Who knows? Hopefully she enjoys those. Um, but they are a pre-packaged, like, made thing. For veggies, for school lunches and snacking, I have some sugar snap peas. And I did buy a bunch of red peppers because I'm gonna be making lots of things with red peppers this week. Um, but I like to give Sydney a vegetable, a snacking vegetable. And we've been doing cucumbers so much lately, cucumbers and carrots, so I thought I would switch things up. We have celery in the fridge. Uh, we have the sugar snap peas and then we will have some bell peppers. I'm also making stuffed peppers 
and that chicken tortilla soup that calls for red pepper. So I went ahead and grabbed a big pack of these because they're cheaper to buy the big pack instead of the individual ones. We needed just milk. I uh, usually buy the 1%, but they didn't have any, so I went ahead and grabbed the 2%. I did get myself a couple energy drinks. I'm just trying to get through the rest of Mumtober, and my busy season is upon us. Um, if you watch my Instagram stories, you know I'm trying really hard not to drink so many energy drinks because I feel like they give me anxiety when I have them. So I usually have about a half at a time. I have the Juicy Peach and the Witch's Brew, which is like a caramel apple flavor. These are delicious. I do love them. They have no sugar, but as I'm getting older, you know, my body, you know, your body changes. So there is that. I have these Sargento Balanced Break Snacks. You guys know I sh pretty much buy them very often. Sydney loves them. Cashews, um, like golden berries and raisins um, and cheeses. I do have some fresh dough. Uh, well, it's fresh dough, but it's in the freezer uh, for pizzas. And so I needed some cheese for that. I have a pizza bend blend cheese and then the thick cut Mexican cheese. I thought this would be really good on that tortilla soup. I love the thick cut in my salads and on soups. It's just a texture thing. It's delicious. Moving on to snacks for Sydney. Hang on, let me put some of this stuff away so that my chicken's not sitting out at room temp. All right, now moving on to some snacks for Sydney. She loves these Stonyfield mango smoothie pouches. They do have the strawberry kind as well, but I think she asks for the tropical twist more often than not. I do purchase these very often, so I'm sure you've seen those in the lunchbox videos I've done. I grabbed this uh, Annie's organic cheddar snack mix. I thought she would enjoy those because it has the cheddar bunnies, the pretzels, just, just a different little snack. I don't think I've ever bought this, but I do buy sometimes the Annie's bunnies, goldfish, you know, etc. So went ahead and grabbed that. I, it's been a long time since we had those Trader Joe's beet crackers and I remember I enjoyed those and so did Sydney. So I saw these and I had to go ahead and grab them. Just something a little bit different. These are beet and corn crackers. I don't know, something different for her to have. And then I also, by the way, yes, these are all processed packaged snacks I'm aware. So I'm aware <laughs> this is not the healthiest haul, but I do try when I can. Um, and I make a lot of homemade snacks as well. FYI. Uh, these are the Kodiak breakfast bars. I think these are new. I don't know. I haven't tried them or maybe I've seen them before. But this is the first time I'm purchasing them. Um, they had the apple cinnamon and the blueberry oat. I The apple cinnamon sounded better to me. But I think Sydney would enjoy. Because we have had lots of apple things lately. I thought Sydney might enjoy a different flavor profile. So I went with the blueberry oat. They're kind of like a... a um, soft like granola bar kind of uh, they're called breakfast bars but they're going to be a snack for her they ha have a good source of protein not too much extra added sugars I mean there are nine grams of added sugars but not too many um, yeah good source of fiber and protein so we'll give those a go let you know what we think of those this is another one that I have not tried and by the way, these are all going to be, I like to kind of stock up on snacks, have backups in the um, pantry and garage and open those, you know, as we run out of something. They're not all opened at once. I like to kind of stagger her snacks. These are the Dave's Killer Bread Trail Mix snack bars. I thought they sounded really interesting. They have all of these like pumpkin seeds and dried cranberries. I think they do have some chocolate chips in them. Fruits, nuts, and seeds. They have seven grams added sugar. So, you know, granola bars have some sugar in them sometimes, but I try to pick the lesser of the evils, I guess. Um, good source of fiber, five grams and four grams of protein. Always trying to think of some quick items that are gonna give Sydney, keep Sydney going throughout the day um, for school too. So I have that. And then her beloved chocolate chip Z bars. She loves these. So had to grab uh, a big pack of those. I grabbed a 12 pack, a little more, you know, a little cheaper individually when you buy the bigger packs, but kind of stinks to buy them all at once. Um, I haven't been over to Sam's Club in so long, but I, I do like grabbing them at Sam's. We have some chive cottage cheese, a wonderful snack. <clears throat> filled with protein for both myself and Sydney. I love the chive one. I like the added flavors of that. And then for some reason, Sydney really enjoys this cereal. It's basically cardboard. 
cardboard and a box, but she loves it. These are essentially um, like unsweetened Cheerios, multigrain Cheerios. She loves this as a snack. She loves this obviously with milk for breakfast, but it's just something that she enjoys and it's very inexpensive. So I go ahead and grab those. I know I mentioned I was gonna be making some paninis this week and I wanted some fresh basil. I'm gonna be doing the tomato basil mozzarella paninis, which I do already have fresh mozzarella on hand, so I didn't need to purchase. But I also grabbed this, it's called panini bread. It's like that nice hearty multigrain bread and I thought paninis, grilled cheeses would be perfect on this. And so I didn't buy regular sandwich bread this week because I, I do have this and we didn't need any more sandwich bread for my paninis. I got this sun-dried tomato pesto. You can see where I'm going here. Tomatoes, basils, mozzarella goodness so that will be lunch maybe to maybe tomorrow maybe today who knows for for the taco not yeah chicken tortilla taco not taco soup chicken tortilla soup same thing um, I needed some black beans some diced tomatoes with green chili I try to get the mild since the some of times the taco seasoning can be spicy and I want to make sure Sydney and I can enjoy it although Sydney is a champ when it comes to spice uh, I needed canned corn for that as well and then also some taco seasoning mix. I do, you know, sometimes use my own seasoning but sometimes it's really convenient to just have a pack. I'm actually interested in making my own and then putting it in a container so that I'll just have it all the time. Maybe I should go ahead and do that at some point. I needed some chicken bouillon seasoning like bouillon cubes or packs because it's coming up upon chicken pot pie season and I always run out of this and I, whenever I'm craving uh, chicken pot pie, I wanna make sure I have some on hand. I also needed yellow onion for the soup recipe. Since I have several recipes that need the tomato paste, I did go ahead and buy this squeezy kind so that I can keep it in the fridge for a little longer. Um, the bagged avocados were on sale, so I went ahead and grabbed a four pack of avocados. We use avocados a ton, and of course I will use it on for avocado toast and on my paninis, as well as for the chicken tortilla soup, I like to garnish it with fresh avocado. I needed some more sugar since I've been baking a ton. The brown rice I am using for the stuffed bell peppers. I needed more oats. Sydney enjoys oatmeal for breakfast very often. I am going to be making some recipes with essentially Nutella, so I grabbed the cheap version of that. Uh, hazelnut spread is so good. Speaking of this, I actually have it pinned on Pinterest to try to make a homemade hazelnut spread and I'm very interested in that. Maybe I will make that next week. We'll give that a try. Of course, I needed some chicken broth for the soup and then sweet potatoes were on sale as well. So I grabbed a couple of sweet potatoes. Uh, they are so nutritious, so healthy for you. Um, so I did grab a couple of those. I like doing those with a little bit of you know, butter, brown sugar for a little sweet treat Thanksgiving style or doing baked sweet potatoes as well. Those are delicious. I was craving some macadamia nuts. I grabbed some of those. And then actually, since I am recovering from a little cold, I'm completely fine. Okay. It was like the mildest, most annoying little cold. But since we are going into that season, I want to be prepared on hand. If I am under the weather and cannot cook and want soup, <laughs> I like to have a canned one on hand. Of course, homemade is a million times better and it tastes so much better, but it is also, you know, survival mode. Need to have at least one on hand in case we are in survival mode. I have a seasoned rotisserie chicken, love those. I put this in either my soup or my um, stuffed bell peppers as well. I did go ahead and get one of my favorite seltzers lately has been this polar lemonade mix and I do have the blueberry and I've had the watermelon and now I'm trying the raspberry pink lemonade version of it and hopefully that is good but I've been on a really big kick of the seltzer aid from polar and then this is the alcohol that I bought I bought it because I have a specific cocktail in mind and I had no intentions of getting this today, but when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's perfect for this cocktail. So it's just espresso, vodka, three olives, and uh, yeah, so that was an extra 18 bucks I didn't plan on spending today, but um, kind of a niche 
liquor that I will have in my pantry for specific holiday cocktails. I love a good holiday cocktail once in a while. All right, you guys, that is what I purchased for groceries this week. I am going to be filming, I believe, tomorrow. I have it on the schedule to film a what I eat in a day with some of the recipes that I'm making and what I've been enjoying for foods and look forward to that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little grocery shop with me video, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.